Welcome to Storytime with Kitty. Today we will be reading The Three Billy Goats Scruff, retold by George Bridge and illustrated by Ivana Forgo. The Three Billy Goats Gruff. This story is of Three Billy Goats Gruff and a troll who did not know when enough is enough which may have been his undoing. This story happened some time, time ago, at a time when it was not that unusual for three billy goats to all have the same name. Gruff was quite a popular name among billy goats back then, and as it happened, these three friends were all named Gruff. There was the small billy goat Gruff, the big billy goat Gruff, and the biggest billy goat gruff. There was also a troll, who shall remain nameless. The troll lived under a bridge on a hillside where the gruffs liked to eat. One day, as they were crunching on all the great green stuff that they could see, they realized they had eaten most of what was available on their side of the stream. So, one by one, the gruffs decided to cross the bridge in search of more snacks. First came the small billy goat gruff to cross the bridge. Clip clop, clip clop, went the billy goat's hooves on the bridge. What's that noise? Make it stop, grumbled the troll. It's just me, the small billy goat gruff. I'm crossing your bridge to go look for a snack. Well, today you will be my snack, declared the troll. Oh no, don't eat me. I'm much too little for a big troll like you. Another billy goat will be along shortly, and he is much bigger. Very well, said the troll. Then be off with you. I want the big snack. And with that, the small billy goat gruff was free to go. Another short time later, the big billy goat gruff came to the bridge. Clip clop, clip clop, went the billy goat's hooves on the bridge. What's that noise? Make it stop, grumbled the troll. It's just me, the big billy goat gruff. I'm crossing your bridge to go look for a snack. Well, today you are going to be my snack, declared the troll. Oh no. Don't eat me. A big troll like you should have the biggest of snacks. Another billy goat will be along shortly, and he is the biggest. Very well, said the troll. Then be off with you. I want the biggest snack. And with that, the billy goat gruff was free to go. Just a little while later, the biggest billy goat gruff came to the bridge. Clip, clop, clip, clop, went the billy goat's hooves on the bridge. It shook and creaked from the weight of the biggest billy goat. <clears throat> What's that noise? grumbled the troll nervously. It's just me. The biggest billy goat gruff. I'm crossing the bridge to go look for a snack. Well, mm, today you are going to be my snack, the troll said meekly. Come out from under that bridge and we will see about that, declared the biggest billy goat gruff. Hmm, very well, said the troll nervously. As the troll came out from under the bridge, he saw the biggest billy goat gruff, and he knew right away that he had made a mistake. The biggest billy goat gruff used his two big horns to knock the troll back off the bridge, 
and so far downstream that the big bully of a troll was never ever seen again. Now all the billy goats and every other grazing animal on the hillside enjoy delicious snacks on both sides of the bridge without any trouble. The end. Okay friends, thank you for listening. Happy reading. Bye.